so I had another message come in, another question on one of the social media blogs. Uh, why do I keep going back to the guy that I'm, I guess I could say dating, that um, keeps having affairs? He keeps having relationships with other people. Why do I keep going back to him? The answer is really simple. Uh, you still perceive more advantage than disadvantage out of being with him. Or you have a fantasy about where that relationship is going to go and you're holding on to the fantasy and you're expecting him to someday get to be that person and fantasy that you want. But just know that when somebody has a fling, somehow in their life, they're perceiving that they're not getting something fulfilled in the relationship dynamic they're in and somebody else is filling that. I don't know what that may be. It may be a fantasy that they have and they haven't matured to get past their fantasies and they're working through their fantasies. But if you're picking them and selecting them in, as a relationship, then you know you're putting yourself in that situation. If they've got a history of that and they constantly do that and you're choosing to be with them, but you have a fantasy that somehow you're going to make that different, you may be living with a fantasy and a delusion. And don't be surprised if all of a sudden they do it again. And, and if you're not providing something, I always say that anything you're not willing to do with your mate and for your mate, you better be willing to delegate. Uh, I, I'm a firm believer that if somebody's going out and having a fling, either you're the underdog and they're the one overdog and they're keeping their options open and they don't want to be tied down. And you're living in a fantasy in the underdog position wanting to tie them down. And they're designed to do that because you're not empowered enough to be able to say to be able to say both positive and negative things and get respect. But if you are sitting there, you know, in an underdog position, well, they're probably going to take advantage of that because you're disempowering yourself. But if you really respect them and respect yourself, you'll keep a dialogue going. And I, I had a woman that was basically said to me recently, just like a few days ago at a breakthrough experience. She said, well, my my guy cheated on me. And I said, I said, I'm, I'm so angry at him. And I said, you're angry at him or you're angry at yourself. Why do you say that? He's the one that cheated. I said, okay, but obviously you've selected him and somehow he's got either expectations that are unrealistic that you can't provide or he's, you're not providing something he wants. Just out of curiosity, because it's, it's easy to point our finger at somebody else for doing that. You're not having an affair, are you? You're not having an affair with your children. You're not having an affair with your spiritual studies. You're not having an affair with your schooling. You're not having an affair at work because if you're having an affair, then why point your finger at him? Because if you're not giving him the affection and attention he's looking for, and you're sitting there having an affection towards children or some other thing out there, and he's feeling set aside, then he's going to find somebody that's going to come in to fill in that gap. Make sure, and that's, by the way, it's not guys that have affairs as much as, we, I'm always amazed how the stereotype is guys have affairs. That's absolutely not true. I get way more consults on females that have been having affairs than most people realize. So I, I don't see it as a male and female thing. I see it as just a human behavior thing because I see girls do it. They sometimes are slicker and more more effective at doing it and not get caught, but they still are having affairs too. And if the guy's having an affair, he's having an affair with somebody and that girl's with somebody. So I, I'm a firm believer that if you want to keep people from having affairs uh, and you keep going back to them, it's because you're still getting some benefit out of it. Either it's economic benefits or it's prestige and social benefits or they're great lovers and they're great sex providers, or maybe they're into intellectually stimulating, but somewhere in the seven areas of life, they're providing something or you would have long, gone a long time ago. And, um, but by the way, just because somebody has an affair doesn't mean that has to be the end of a relationship. I've seen people go, go through an affair and come out stronger in a relationship too. I can't say that's always the case, but I've certainly seen it. And I've seen that that can be used as a catalyst. I had one woman who said my husband's had an affair and, and she actually stopped and reflected. And I said, what did you do to push him away? And she goes, what do you mean what I do? I said, he's not fulfilled in the relationship or he's going out and having an affair. So what, what's, what's, what's not, what is he not getting needed? And what, what need is he not getting met in the relationship dynamic? And she said, well, that's a good question. I said, why don't you ask him? Because otherwise you're going to make assumptions. Why don't you just ask him, what am I doing in the relationship? Is it something I'm doing or something I haven't done? that is making you unfulfilled and it, it's not meeting a need. Go and have, be, go and be mature enough to ask that question. Just like a customer. If a customer goes to somewhere else, call the customer up, find out what it is that you're not providing to make them go somewhere else. 
and uh, be surprised what that might do. You might open up the door of conversation, you might find out what it is that's led him off to a different thing or her off to a different uh, relationship. You might then be able to provide it and might all of a sudden provide what they're looking for. They may not have a need to go out and do something else. So just in case that's the case, be mature enough to ask that. Because if not, you're going to not learn a lesson. You'll repeat the cycle probably. So be willing and mature enough to go and find out what it is, the role you're in. It's a dynamic. It's not a one-sided person doing it. Or if it is, then you selected that person knowing that. And that's something you need to ask yourself. Are you thinking going to fix people and change people? Or are you basically sitting there living in a fantasy and trying to have an affair with a fantasy person and trying to push them into that fantasy. Because if you do, they're not going to feel love for who they are. They're going to go find somebody else to love them for who they are. So be honest with yourself. And that's one of the reasons I teach people the breakthrough experience, because I make them face the truth about their real values, make them realize the dynamic they're in, stop playing the victim of what's going on around you, start empowering your life again. And I give you the tools on how to do that, because I see this every week in breakthrough. Every single week, there's somebody that's coming in there with, quote, somebody who's having a relationship. That's with, with somebody else. And if you're staying there, it's because you're getting more advantages out of it. And if you're not, it's because you're seeing more disadvantages. But be accountable for the dynamic and start a dialogue and start to learn what's going down and find out what's not being met. And if it's something that can't be met, then make a decision in your life. Do you want to continue that or do you want to find somebody else? Maybe you don't want a full life, long term relationship with somebody. Maybe this is working for you on an unconscious level. Get in touch with what's unconscious and conscious and get real about it. And also, when you come to the breakthrough experience, ask me the question so I can elaborate and give you some tools on how to manage that and um, take advantage of this little presentation I did today on your question, because it just might be the, the difference. But self-reflect. Don't blame. Look at what you're doing. Look at the dynamic. See what you're winning out of it or you would have left and um, find out what you can do to transform it if you still want it to continue to have a relationship.